am waiting in line at the ATM. My sons, they have more money than me, than me to spend sometimes. <laughs> I was I was singing in the car, as is my custom. I've had the lyrics and the melody for a long time, and a new part of it came out in the prayer room. We were in the prayer room, and one of my worship leaders, Sarah Beth, she's amazing, she came up with the bridge to the song. I was like, that's the bridge. That's the bridge to the song. And so I started singing it with it and we did it together. It was so good. And I was wondering if y'all wanted like, um, remember how I did the Old Holy Night song? It was kind of live-ish and then we added some more layers on it. I was wondering if I should do like a little music video type-ish thing or, or just share that song with you. I think it's timely for now. I'll give you a little clip of it. Put the actually I won't because I gotta go now. It's my turn. Okay, so that ATM did not work and now there are one, two, three, four people ahead of me at this one. <laughs> so I have a lot of time. I have a lot of time I can sing the whole thing. Not really, but I will sing just a little version, a little bit of it, and see if you want me to do something a little more um I said I didn't want to do things produced. But for the songs I think it's fun to have a nice again, I'm a big sound person. So yeah, so basically the first lyrics are um I don't like, I don't know, I feel weird like videotaping myself when it's like, I don't know, whatever. How go out with joy when the storms in my head are quieted by your voice? That's the first part. The second part is, so speak, speak to me. I'm listening, I'm listening intently. Speak, speak to me. Who I am listening, I'm listening intently. Third part, with my arms raised, with my heart raw, I will give you praise in the midst of it all. When my arms are raised, when my heart rolls, oh, I will give you praise through the midst of it all. In the midst of it all. Oh, I'm sweating so bad. And there's a bridge part. I won't sing the bridge part just in case. So y'all tell me what y'all think. Um, maybe I'll do that. I also want to do a journal flip through soon, but I'm waiting for my new camera to get here. <laughs> I just played it back. And I just noticed that I must be dehydrated or I just got a coffee from the little coffee shack near our house. Mm, so good. My barista person watched one of my videos. So hi, if you're watching again. She's like, I'm gonna subscribe. Anyway, I noticed I have these like, like these drooly things. Anyway, I thought it was funny. I literally just drove by David, <laughs> turning left into our street. He came home for a second. I gotta go pick up the boys in a little bit, but I'm getting something really cool today. I thought I would share tie-ins with journaling a little bit, so I want to share it. I'm so excited. Y'all know I love butterflies. just came in I'm so excited I'm gonna try to uh, put this up somewhere to show y'all the lighting's kind of crazy in here and my room is a mess I'm very excited about this let me give you a little backstory as I'm cutting I hope this doesn't sound creepy or anything but I'm I've been watching a lot of Roots and Refuge and I saw this poster in Jess's basement and I love butterflies. Butterflies and flowers are my thing. I've been kind of starting to incorporate butterflies into my decor. Why is this not going? What's happening? Hmm. Oh, there it goes. Oh. So basically, I saw this big old poster and the clips that I showed recently over there, those are, um, well, I can show you again. Ah, no. These are, you'll see a glare with my camera, but these are vintage pages from like a butterfly identification book. I got them in Austin, Texas when I was hanging out with my friends and I was so 
conflicted about buying them because I love them so much, but they were kind of expensive. They were selling them for $15 a piece, y'all. But I guess they're vintage. But anyway, I went ahead and got them and I just made the purchase, even though it kind of emptied literally my pocketbook. I just got some Ikea frames and I used some mats that I had because the mats that came in the frames were not working i guess it was too wide for those for those prints so i have that over here oh it's so messy so messy this sweet frame i got from world market for my howard picture that's one of my favorite pictures of howard and so i put that there so i can see him when i have my quiet time and then this is exciting so like i said before i was watching roots and refuge and i saw this butterfly big butterfly poster in Jess's basement. And I did a little searching because I am a search ninja. That's I think one of the five gifts that you get being a five. And it was this beautiful, it's this beautiful butterfly cloth poster. And it was from World Market, which makes sense because World Market is one of my favorite places to shop. Isn't that so pretty? Oh wow, it's big. <gasps> it's so beautiful. I love it so much. So I'll show you where I'm gonna put it. This room has been a work in progress. I have been working so hard to clear it out. I literally just have the corners to work on and get rid of stuff. You get so close and you get puckered out, right? but I just need to do it. So my lockers, everyone knows what the lockers are. Um, I was getting some uh, camera out earlier to film some shots, but this is usually where I sit to do my lockers. There's a kitty box right there. I know there's little nuggets in there. And then I made this macrame with my friend, but I was thinking I could put this, ah, this on this wall. Oh my gosh, don't get in the poop. It's like, this is not working. I thought it would be super fun to put this here. Still my workout clothes. Oh my gosh, I would have to really, I wonder if I can make it tighter or maybe hang it. I thought that would be super fun to hang it right there because I wasn't sure what to put in this spot, but this makes me happy. I definitely feel like I'm going to cut this string and tighten it up so that it goes like this, like it'll be like hanging right here. Maybe that'll work better. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> it's a bobby boy. It's so tiny. You should put him in my garden. Hi baby, do you wanna eat bugs in my garden? Go eat bugs in my garden, put him in my garden. We shall see. I used to overthink these things. Ooh, I don't like the feeling of it. <laughs> Ashton, can you grab me something like tweezers or something? Or can you take that off? Literally, my skin is crawling. Oh, this stuff. I know. I don't like it. It's, um, I'm a highly sensitive person, which means that certain textures, smells, sounds really overwhelm me. And with texture, like that twine burlapy feel, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh, you're putting your teeth on it? That just, just like watching that made my legs go crazy. Thank you. Okay. 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 Okay, so I want it to hang like this. So I got this at World Market. I guess you could do your nails here instead of having the twiny thing. I may resort to doing that in the future, but I just wanted to tighten it up a bit because I don't want it hanging down where Wesley can mess with it because the kitten, he's a little wild right now. Oh, I do not like this at all. Nope. I'll say that's good. This wasn't like a cheap purchase, but I don't usually buy a lot of things for my home. Um, I, I actually do a lot of junking and thrifting. Um, this mirror over here I got out of someone's trash can. <laughs> and I've gotten a lot of things at like real cheap. But sometimes when I find things that I know I'll regret not getting later, I just go ahead, go ahead and get them. 
That's my trash can mirror. I literally got that at someone's trash can. Hello! And then this mirror I got uh, for $40. It's vintage. This little plant stand right here. That one. I can't remember what store it was. At home, I think. It had no tag on it. And I said, what? how much would this cost? I almost didn't get it. But I took the time to just figure out what it would cost. And they found a, something that looked kind of similar to it. It was only $16. I thought that was a steal. My sweet boy just cut the neighbor's yard. A nail. Ah. No! <laughs> I can't be overthinking this. Okay. I don't know if it'll be cricket or even or whatever. Who knows? How does it look, y'all? That's not too shabby. I think I am gonna move that though. I don't think that like really works over there. And then I'm getting this reupholstered. I just moved that curtain out of the way, but and there's Sweet Howard, he's in the urn. I haven't really put more things in there in this case, but that one, this was kind of a God story. I've been looking at this shelf for a really long time and um, it was on sale for a hundred dollars. I am here in my messy studio, I need to do some Pogo routines. And I wanted to show y'all these awesome, I saw these, where did I go? I went to the Dollar Store. Dollar Tree? I went to the Dollar Tree. I saw these stickers and they are massive, but I'll tell you why I like them. I'm going to take them apart. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this. I'm, I've been filming a lot on my phone just because but this, this is this massive, I mean, you can see the butterflies compared you know, like to my average size hand. <laughs> That's kind of an inside joke. It looks like, so they're like this, but all I want, I really don't care about this die cut part. That's cool. But I just wanted to use this acetate type part. So I just thought that was really cool for a dollar to get four butterflies like that, but I probably would still use that center part for the glue or whatever. But isn't that fun? I love butterflies so much. Out of all of them, I think this one's my favorite. But yeah, I thought those were super cool. What do you think? Maybe I can do something fun with the journal pages for y'all, an extra video with those butterflies. I think that would be sweet. Maybe I'll do that next week. Thank y'all so much for spending your time with me today. I love y'all. I'll see you later. Bye.